Hi, I'm Sarah Kelly. I'm from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. And today I'm presenting a poster on measuring anxiety in adolescents exposed to violence, a review of three measures of anxiety. Basically what what, we're, what, what I did was look at the back, look at um, anxiety, conceptualize what anxiety is, and then look at different measures that are, are used with adolescents who have been exposed to community violence. And the three most common measures used are the trauma symptom checklist for children, the um, child behavior checklist, and the state trade anxiety scale. I basically compared and contrasted those three instruments and then found that you know each of them have different pros and cons to them. They have different strengths and weaknesses such that the TCSS and the CBCL have fewer items in the state trade anxiety and take less time to complete. And the, um, although those two instruments were measured, were developed to measure other things outside of anxiety as well. Whereas the state trade anxiety instrument for children Purely, purely for the um, purpose of measuring anxiety in adolescents. Um, basically, adolescents also can have, um, from this, from these findings, you can see that it's, adolescents might have a hard time conceptualizing what anxiety is. They might um, not understand what, what their emotions are or be able to describe what anxiety is. And so, yeah, so using multiple methods will help make adolescents, what they're, they're expressing, their findings more reliable so that, you know, it would be a good idea to use multiple methods when measuring anxiety in adolescents.